Well, hello everyone, here in the Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on on the two battle packs, the Clone Trooper vs. Droidicas, and the Old Republic one from 2013. And so on the front of the band, you will see how the Lego, Star Wars logos, and the green Yoda border, which, uh, which is the main border from the time, and also... And then suddenly the set number, and this and this year, which when the set numbers went up to five digits instead of four, which, and then picture of everything going on, like in the Geno Serena and Choking Hazard, and the Star Wars: The Old Republic logo, of course. On the back side of that is advertising for the online survey, Evil Wing Kid, and, and then. And then advertisement of Lego Club, and then advertisement of some of the other sets from the time. So these two of which, or yeah, these two of which expect for upcoming Throwback Thursdays, of course. Then all the minifigs included in this whole wave. And then a little code you can use on the website that isn't active anymore. And then all the pieces that come with the set and the last building steps. And so now, on to the mini figs included in both sets. As for Republic Trooper versus Sith Trooper, oops. Okay. We which have the Sith Trooper, which same design and everything that came in the Sith Fury class interceptor the previous year, but except with leg printing, and this all did carry on into the uh, Republic Cruiser set that came out later in this year, 2013, of course. But however, this was a good cheap way to get this uh, figure, which, since of course kind of keeping up the pattern of like a trooper that came in a big set, then comes in a small cheap set, the following winter wave, of course. But yeah, well, until this year, 2014. Until 2024, that is. is that. And then also you have a, another type of Sith trooper, Okay, this. Yeah, another type Sith Trooper with the same helmet piece and also, but with dark red printings and great arms for that. But otherwise, still looking quite good for how it is. And also, what you get, not just one, but two of Republic Troopers that came in the Republic Striker Class Starfire set the previous year, but with an orange print to it instead of a red, and also has the an actual helmet piece for that, oh, which great, nice touch there. Oh, hang on. And as he has the kind of longish rifle, but whereas the other one of which has this kind of large clunky blaster, for that has multiple pieces, but yeah. And then on the back sides of each of them, as you can see, have the helmet piece of which, but actually the stripe on both of them is kind of different, like one's thin and one's thick, and then Republic Trooper's helmet piece has a large open gap to it. Not sure why, but whatever. And also, as for the uh, face printings under all of them, as you see, well, the Republic Troopers have this certain face print, and... The Sith Troopers have their own kind of face print. Definitely not the uh, usual Clone Trooper face. Well, since that's all for Clone Troopers, these were before Clone Troopers, but yeah. And that's that there. And now, on to the uh, two that came in the other battle pack. Being a, uh, a Phase 1 Clone Trooper, and also Clone Trooper Sergeant. Oh, which, well, this which yeah, did come in a couple of sets. Uh, the a little later in 2013, like the ATTE and, well, 
actually different kinds of ones that did. And, but luckily, it's still kind of the same thing for that. And also, the usual uh, helmet hole holes on the sides, of course. But as for the sergeant of which, which does have the arm pieces in olive green and also the olive green printing on the helmet piece and also unique kind of tone to the helmet piece of which, of which nice to see there, of which good to have a little variety to there. And of course have the fin parts on the sides, uh, obviously. And then the back torso printings on both of them, quite good and matching to both of them. And then underneath the which is the uh, clone trooper face, uh, which which was used on several different troopers until early 2020. So this was first year of having that. But yeah. And then also that you get it is not one but two of these later droidicas. Well, however, these droidicas, the design of which kind of close to modern day kind of droidicas, since well, kind of carried on from the 2007 MTT. But however, the design of this is still kind of close to modern day ones. Was however the uh, main builds of which, of which with the Exo Force legs, arms onto these bottom spider web parts, and also the astromech droid head underneath, and and, and kind of like the oh, whoops, uh, previous droid, because with pistol or Western revolver pistols, but instead different pistols with binoculars on them represent the blaster arms of them. And this top part done quite good for that, but also with the uh, clear globe eyepiece. It's used as the main eye for that. Although maybe nowadays probably use a, a flat stud with about three uh, red dots on it to represent the eyes for that. And like all the droidicas, can never able to roll up, curl up and roll for that. But maybe someday they'll uh, do so. They'll improve that. But yeah. Then first up for the builds is this one speeder that is for the Old Republic one. Or at least sit speed or whatever. Which, as you can see, quite simple and a little simplistic as most battle pack builds tend to be. You know, like, as like from first glance, you can kind of see the curved slope kind of parts or that are all in dark gray and do have a couple stickers on them, obviously. And then other designs of which do you have be like uh, wedge plates but in light red and, but like further upwards are kind of the curved slopes in and bits in light red but interestingly it's light red but on the manual cover has bits that are in kind of darkish red well although the light red kind of makes it pop a bit and, but although I think dark red could have been include, easily included as well and then Signs which do have the uh, foot fire missiles, which of course most, which all the sets from this time tend to have. Well, until the following year, with the that introduced the Springle launchers, of course. Well, but we do like still occasionally see these around, one, but just once in a while. But then have this hinge part that holds this upper handlebars and also a clip on the side right, to hold the blaster onto, of course. And then obviously, can, and then hanging off of that are a pair of little studs it's to obviously fit your Sith trooper or one of your Sith troopers on there and let them man it, of course. And then also on the back side, barely much going on except for what there's what there's one, but there's supposed to be two of the cylinder with trans yellow stud on there to obviously represent the thrust of it. But mine kind of fell off in transport, but whatever. And that's about it with the, this feeder witch. 
Okay, now onto the main build with the other battle pack here. Which, as you can see, from, from first glance, which is pretty much like an over little larger version of that main build that came in the Clone Trooper uh, accessory pack set that came out in like early 2022. But however, that was a small character pack set. This is a battle pack. Even though that which was kind of a battle pack. Like, except for that, even though it had the three clone troopers, but this has the two and the droid because, but whatever. But oh, whereas, do you have pretty much the, like large curved bricks around, and also curved plates as well, and and also one bit of snot that is used to hold this uh, jagged slope on there in this uh, sign or flag piece that can fold out and acts as a boarding ramp to them. And then as for this front part of which consisted of the uh, curved slopes in dark red for that. So it's kind of quite fitting to the uh, main Republic theming to it. And, and then as for the like uh, stud space in there, which and also does have a few uh, grill pieces around it and a jagged slope with a control panel and radar system on it. Not sure if it's from like Lego City or whatever. And also enough space to fit a clone trooper onto, or maybe in a couple of studs to fit about two of them and onto there. But, well, maybe if you wanted. But of course, mainly just one can stand on there. And then as for the back side of this, as you can see, it does have a couple of this little holes kind of part that holds both the blasters onto, and and then you can like in this top part you can like fold down, and then also this radar part with the sign can like flip right up, and then also you have an extra flip fire missile and you can flip off like so. So, uh, which would be a trans blue stud on it as well, of course. But luckily, on this set, when folded up, kind of well hidden for that, thinking it's like an extra uh, bit kind of connecting to that. But yeah. And then also have a little bit of snot going on with the uh, trans red plate and tile on there. And also couple brackets holding that all on and the clips that I did so but then also all of this does also look out as a good parts pack of the light gray and dark red for that but yeah. Now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for of how they are. Like, well, as both battle packs and also a good little sampler of Old Republic, of course. And of course, but also as good parts packs as well, of course, but also and also kind of a good cheap way to get a pair of droidicas in a small set. Well, maybe instead of one of the droidicas, maybe just another uh, Phase 2 clone trooper would have been a little better, so can like army build clone troopers more efficiently, obviously. At least until they kind of fix that in later times, but yeah. But even though that kind of happened earlier in like early 2009, well, I'm guessing this was kind of a lessened down version of that, but still Old Republic one. Plenty of good army building to go around for that, so, which with both Sith Troopers and Republic Troopers. But as for the $13 that they were at that time, of which, despite being like a little more than the previous battle packs were, was still kind of good for that, but even though when $2 later, there's more a little later, obviously. 
but this I would still kind of fair for how they were, but yeah. But and despite not having an extra clone trooper in it, I can still kind of forgive it of how it is, but yeah. And so now, if any of you, if either of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I we had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get these sets for both your clone trooper armies and Old Republic armies, or if you enjoy the Old Republic, then definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.